I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, you know, from my point of view about what's uh, taken place now that the earnings information is out and also about the stock performance today and expected stock performance the rest of the day and tomorrow. So uh, Tesla looking like it had a beat here and a miss there, et cetera, et cetera. A very good beat on revenue. Uh, margins, automotive gross margins came in in a, an acceptable level, but lower than last quarter. Um, so <clears throat> I missed completely on that one. See, I, I, needed a, I needed a swing and a miss. So anyway, I missed that one by about four percentage points. Um, but the automotive gross revenues really made up for it, giving them a pretty good earnings and very good free cash flow with $23 billion in the bank at the end of the quarter. So um, th those were all really uh, good news. The stock has been up and down and up and down as people have taken a look at this and that and then changed their mind or whatever, however that works in the after hours. But right now, the after hours is up a little bit, just suggesting that uh, folks are looking at what they've seen so far in terms of revenue, in terms of margins, in terms of operating margins around 10% for the entire company. Energy numbers a little lighter than expected, a little lighter than I certainly expected, and a very big part of what could have made a big difference in the final earnings numbers was an extra $300 million, which is uh, uh, you know about uh, 3% um, uh, uh, in terms of operating expenses, uh, maybe in terms of setting up the new Cybertruck line, et cetera. I haven't had a chance to dig into the details totally, but that was a very substantial change in that particular line item. Um, and so we could have even had uh, maybe higher at 94%, I mean, I'm so, sorry, at, uh, at um, uh, $9 and 40, I mean, 94 cents. That's what I mean. 94 cents a share instead of the 91 cents a share that it came in. Anyway, as far as the stock this morning, the stock, of course, did nibble right up to 300. Thank you very much. I did hit that one out of the park. Uh, but uh, some people did complain I missed by 72 cents. Uh, and then settled back down below that, which was not unexpected. And I did suggest that could happen. I think now we're going to be, it's going to be all about the call. Um, in general, uh, the call does result in the stock going down. You'll be watching the after hours, I'm sure. And then hopefully you'll join me and uh, and Larry Goldberg as we talk about it in detail. Uh, but the call uh, commonly results in a down day tomorrow. And there was not enough good news in this beat sort of beat. I would call it a beat overall. There was not enough good news in this beat uh, to give us an absolute guarantee of uh, of, a, of a, a good day tomorrow if there is a decent call with some good guidance and some good development. I did hear a little bit of what's going on with regard to Cybertrucks on schedule. Um, some fairly good news with regard to 4680s, but that needs to be fleshed out a little bit, but it wasn't bad news. It was it, it, it was in the right direction. Um, so in general, uh, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll have maybe a normal pattern, a normal pattern uh, of, you know, down tomorrow and then up over the next couple of weeks because everybody, everybody seems to agree this is the trough with regard to margins. So margins will only be going up and a very good beat on, total sales, uh, which matters. That's really huge. They are now at the 100 billion run rate um, as a company. So, any, or dear, darn near, I think it's just like fractionally under the 100 billion level. So that puts them kind of into a new class of companies in terms of being in the $100 billion group. Anyway, um, I think that's all I've got for you right now. Look forward to a very nice long conversation with Larry uh, probably uh, it'll be posted about an hour after the call because we'll, he and I will probably talk about it for a half an hour and then it'll take another 20 minutes for it to post. So roughly an hour after the call is when you will be able to find uh, that next video. You know, you can hit subscribe and notify and that'll take care of it for you. Okay, that's it for now. See you later this afternoon. Oh, it's been great talking to you, of course. <laughs>